today you guys so today yes we're gonna put in the Cusco roll cage you guys I know I've been putting it off for quite some time but uh, today's the day we're gonna put it in um, as you can notice um, let me just turn this light on a little bit here guys sorry guys I'm just not feeling uh, a little under the weather a little bit but um, we're gonna get this vlog done for you guys today so uh, as you can see I took all the seats out they're all held in by 14 mils and of course unplug your uh, harness and in the back uh, back rest of the seat is another 14 mil so we're gonna go ahead and uh, take this um, rear trim we're gonna take that off and uh, we're gonna mock up we call it the main hoop and then we'll go from there all right guys so just to remove the trim I just remove the one plug here just like that, just put it in the cup holder. And then you're gonna pull up the rubber seal here. Just pull that out of the way. Just like that, all the way down here. You're gonna pull this up. Just like that. Just, just a little more. So, cause there's a little metal clip here that holds onto this. So you need this out of the way. And all you can do is just tug it and it's going to come right out. You can give it a quick tug. Pull this out of the way so that it clears. And give it a tug, just like that. Pretty simple, you guys. Move the seatbelt out of the way, like that. And just give it a tug. And it should all come right out, just like that. The things with these plugs, you guys, the more gentle you guys are on it, it's gonna actually come right off the uh, the tab here. So what we're gonna do is just grab a hold of it and give it a, a nice tug, and it'll come right out. Man, you guys, working when you're sick is just not good. <sighs> all right, so up next, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, remove all the the center console trim here, just so that it's gonna give me a little more room to uh, work with, you guys. You might not have to, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do it anyways. What I remember is this one, you just gotta go straight up. Yep. Just go straight up and go and unplug this. There you go. If you guys know what this is, let me know you guys. I don't really don't know what it is, but it's here. So yeah, unplug that too. All right, so there's two 10 mils and the speaker cover will come off. All right guys, so next step, we're gonna raise the car and take off the tires. Uh, most likely you're gonna have to remove, well, we're gonna have to remove the wheel liner uh, so we can see underneath and see where we're gonna place the uh, reinforcement plates. Um, they're right over here. Two of them are the same and two of them are different. So we're gonna figure out where each plate goes and then uh, go from there. So I just removed about six plugs and uh, peeled the liner back and it gave us enough room, I think so. I can have enough access to the, uh, the wheel well now. All right, up next you guys, so I went ahead and removed the uh, seat belt cover here from the bottom and it exposes the uh, 14 mil. Move that aside and uh, now I'm able to peel back the carpet to get access to the floor panel here. So this is the area where the main hoop uh, should go and I believe it's right here. All right guys, so for the ease of installation, I went and uh, removed the two styrofoam pieces underneath the driver and passenger side and uh, we should be able to get it in a lot easier now. There's a lot more access. I could have, I think I could have easily just trimmed that one piece of the styrofoam out, but uh, we'll see if this works first and if not, where it's gonna work, we'll just trim it out, you guys.
This is a tough one, you guys. Just uh, kind of awkward the way it's situated. tight fit but there you go you guys I use the wire harness pretty much as a guide because they, we ain't going anywhere else with this can't really push it out of the way either you guys so that's pretty much it and I marked them down and uh, now we're gonna take it back out and start drilling you guys all right guys so based on the instructions the reinforcement plates here are I guess laid out like this so front driver, front passenger, rear, and rear. So hopefully that uh, is right, you guys. All right, guys, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill a pilot hole, and then I'm gonna go ahead and drill a bigger hole after. So here's all the marbles, you guys. Ain't going back. All right, so both sides are already drilled, guys. You may wanna pick yourself up one of these. Uh, I drilled it up to 3 8 and the screws go in quite nicely right to the hose. So I just tried them out. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna mock it up. But before you wanna put it permanently in there, I suggest you do some kind of rust uh, protection or something like that inhibitor. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a seam sealer around this plate here and then put it against the, the body here. Uh, that way it'll keep the water and stuff out and keep corrosion away and also you may want to put some um, sealant or whatever around the holes here that are exposed now so it doesn't rust. All right guys, so it's the next day. I totally struggled yesterday and yeah, I just didn't go too well. If you have a second hand, it would really make the job go a lot easier, you guys. And of course, I didn't have that second hand yesterday. So I'm just gonna wait. Well, today's gonna be a different day because I'm gonna have a second hand to help me uh, line up everything and uh, hopefully it goes a lot smoother. But uh, I don't know, if you're doing it by yourself, I think you would have to do the upper pieces here and then, and then lay it against the, uh, or rest it against the uh, wheel well here. And that'll give you the angle that you need and the leverage um, if you're doing it by yourself. So I'm gonna try that right now before Johnny gets here. Um, see if that works. All right guys, so I put in the rest of the uh, roll cage. I just kind of mocked it all up. And you, you can tell that it's just not a exact fit, you guys. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this big gap here, but we're gonna figure it out. And it's the same thing on the other side. You can see there's quite a bit of a gap. There's really not much more I can do with it. So we'll see uh, how it fits um, before I start drilling. The other thing I ran into a problem with was the, the bolt that they supplied here is way too short. It's like one inch. So I ended up buying a uh, one and a half inch here. So that should give me a little more uh, tolerance here to uh, uh, just easier to install you guys. So I'm gonna bolt these down first uh, loosely and then we're gonna mark them off and drill the rear ones in first and then go from there. All right, boys. So that was a, a pain, but uh, we got them in. They're a little longer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mock it all up again, like I said and then tighten them down. Once I tighten them down, then I can revert back to the uh, factory ones or the ones that are supplied. They're a little shorter and then uh, we should be good to go, you guys. The other thing that's giving me a hard time is this, uh, the undercarriage here is in the way because I'm using a scissor lift, you guys, so it would be a lot easier if I had a proper hoist for this. So next up, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, mark the holes here and then go ahead and drill them. So we're almost close to being finished. This is the hard part right here is getting the fitment down properly before we drill any holes besides the one that I already did here. But um, on the back, so I had a buddy of mine, Victor came by and he said, he gave me a couple of good ideas. Um, uh, for example, so what I did is um, he told me to tape this off 
one, it's to protect it from getting all scratched up. Two, now that we, we're going to get the placement down, um, we can mark the holes onto the tape so it's more clear so that I can actually see where to drill the holes after. And then two, the other idea that he gave me, because I'm by myself, instead of getting somebody to push down like this, we're going to use a rope or like a come along and basically strap it down to this side and to this side. And I'm going to strap it down, pull it down, and then that way I can align it without the assistance of a, the second hand that I've been needing. So if you're doing it by yourself, you guys, like I am, um, that's probably the best way to do it. So I'm going to do that right now and show you guys what it looks like. Just like that. That's where I hooked it and on the come along. And now I can adjust it to whatever I need without uh, the helping hand of a second person. So this is what I would do if I was by myself, which like I am. And uh, yeah, now I can go ahead and mark off the holes and then go ahead and drill them out. Now I'm gonna go and take a pen and go ahead and mark off my spots here. All right guys, so the top hole is the hardest hole because you have to go through like two sheets of metal. And uh, I recommend getting like a actual really good drill, uh, drill bits because it chewed up a couple of mine. And uh, yeah, the two bottom ones is not an issue, it's just the, the top one. Uh, I'll show you guys. These two are really easy to go through. It's a top one. I had to go through like, it's like two sheets of metal and it's the uh, strut mount. Um, that's the reason why it's really hard to drill through guys. So like, so take your time and then get a good drill bit. So don't go through what I'm going through. All right, so I went ahead and put the seam sealer on and uh, now we're ready to go and install it on the passenger side. Uh, let me grab a light for you guys here. You can see the three holes right there and that's the two sheet metals that we had to go through. So we're gonna go ahead and throw it in. For doing the plates, you guys, you will need two, um, two people to do the job, you guys, because it's, it's actually hard. I don't know how you can do it with one, one person. So uh, now we're gonna go tighten it down and you still need a second person to hold the, uh, the ratchet on the inside while you tighten it on the bottom. All right, so the plate's in, you guys. It only uses three screws and I use the uh, seam sealer. So it looks pretty good right now. So I'm gonna start tightening down everything and uh, we should uh, be good to go and um, start putting the interior back together. All right, so up next, uh, now that I got the roll cage all buttoned up and it's all tightened, I'm gonna go ahead and put the styrofoam back in, but we gotta uh, custom a piece out of it uh, so that it'll clear the, uh, the roll cage here, you guys. So let me figure that out and uh, I'll be right back. So what I did was I uh, just marked it off with a pen and I'm just gonna start taking chunks away with it and uh, until it fits. So just make sure you guys don't force it in because it, it'll just, it's brittle and it'll just crack and you're gonna have like multiple pieces. And uh, I think it's kind of important because when you kind of step in, you fall right into it. And uh, this is what supports you guys. It doesn't look like much, but yeah, this is what holds your feet in place and uh, all the weight of your body. That's it, nicely cut out. Now we're gonna go and try it and see if it fits. To be honest, you guys, I don't think I even needed the cut. No good. Let's just put it, put it back in there and not say anything, you guys. All right, guys, so I went ahead and I split the carpet as best as I can. It's not the prettiest the way I want it, but it'll have to do, you guys. It just one slit here, and then that's, that's it. So hopefully that's, uh, yeah, it is what it is. All right, guys, so the last part, besides putting everything else back together, but I think last but pretty important because it's uh, aesthetics-wise, is cutting the holes for the uh, clearance for the uh, roll cage to pass through the, um, the hindquarters here, you guys. Um, right here. And of course, both of them are not gonna be the same, so you can't just cheat and cut one side and copy it. So what I did was, because I've never done it before, I've asked a couple of body shop friends and they said just make a template and then make sure it fits, do a trial and error. And uh, this is what I did so far. So I taped it off, you guys, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna transfer this onto a piece of like uh, paper or cardboard or something a little more stiff. And then I'm gonna cut, slowly cut and uh, make the hole and then 
making like a jig to see if it works or not, you guys. So hopefully it works because I only got one shot to do it, you guys. So there you go. I made my template. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just kind of line it up, kind of eyeball it, and then I'm going to just uh, start cutting away until we get a, the shape that I want, and then we'll transfer it back onto the panel. So I went ahead and put it back onto the uh, panel now, you guys. So it's, now I got a rough mock-up of exactly how the hole is going to be cut out. So now I'm going to go peel it off again and then go and try it on the car to see if it actually clears. And then it's like a trial and error. We're going to go back and forth, back and forth until we get the right fit and then we're going to cut it. There you go, guys. So I just peeled it off and then now it kind of takes the curvature of the actual panel itself because it's not flat. So now I'm going to take this and I'm going to try it out now, see if it fits. All right, guys, so I did it about 10 times, eight, nine times. I did it quite a bit of times, uh, trial and error, trial and error. And now I got it to the point where I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and cut it now, guys. So I'm going to take one of these, you guys. I've never used this. This is the, probably the first time I've ever used one of these. So uh, I'm going to drill one hole here and one hole here and get most of it and then finish it off with like a, uh, air ratchet or whatever. Uh, I'll figure it out. Here and here, you guys. All right, here we go, guys. Oh, one shot, eh? One shot. Oh. <sighs> here we go. All right, guys. There you go. It's all in. What a pain in the ass, you guys. You have to take this bar off. You can't cheat. I tried cheating and kind of ratcheted up the uh, the panel here. I'm not too happy, if not worse and worse. I know there's a lot of these ones on the market for sale because a lot of guys got their cars out and yeah, it worse and worse, I can go get one. It just scratched up here and there and there, but overall I got it in. So yeah, take off the bar you guys, don't cheat. Uh, don't do what I did. Now, you're just gonna have to repeat what I did on this side, we're gonna do it for this side. All right guys, so that's pretty much it. Yeah, take that bar out, it went in so much easier. Still, this part was really hard because it's it's like, it's really tight in here, you guys. I really had to force it in, really force it in. A lot of in and out, in and out uh, trials and uh, just be patient with it, you guys. You gotta have a lot of patience to get this done. I'm gonna put everything back together and let's take some uh, nice B-roll. Oh, no, you <laughs> Man, I told you hold the camera and the guy fucking recording. Did you get it? Yeah, I fucking recording, man. Oh, Christ. You guys are not supposed to see that. <laughs> oh, man, what the hell, hey? I mean, I'm telling you, this vlog is really, uh, not the vlog, but this install is just really pissing me off, you guys. This is like... Man, this is the stuff that you guys don't see on other vlogs. Oh. The, the struggles, the, the struggles, man. Oh, okay. oh, yeah! I got it! Woo! Okay, hold on, hold on, let me see. Oh my god, what a struggle. Oh, oh. oh my god, it gets in you guys. Oh, it is in, it is in. Woo! Oh my god, I'm so glad. This is the first time. I'm so happy that this install is done, you guys. Oh my god, never again. What a what a what a pain. What a pain. Oh fuck. Okay, I'm gonna finish this up. I'm gonna tighten this all up, you guys, and I'll be right back. Woo! That feels good, you guys. Well, it feels good that the freaking roll cage is in, but I'm so glad that this vlog is done. Uh, it's brutal when you're like, it's, it's, this is a tough install, you guys. I, I don't know, I don't recommend doing it on your own. You can if you want to, but it's frustrating. It takes a lot of patience because it's a lot of like in and out, in and out, like I told you guys. And uh, you need a helping hand. You can't do it by yourself. I don't, I'm pretty sure you can't. Um, but yeah, just battling, getting over my cold right now, you guys, and it doesn't help with the uh, install. But 
Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. If you guys uh, like it, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button, you guys. And uh, if you love the GTR content, let me know in the comments below. And um, maybe one more vlog before we head out to SEMA. And if you guys like SEMA and want to know what it is, check out the next few vlogs, you guys. We'll see you guys down there. See ya. So the roll cage looks absolutely phenomenal, you guys. It gives you that race car feel and look now, but is it worth it the amount of time that I put into it and the amount of like uh, headaches and sweat that I put into it? I don't know, man. I don't know if I would want to go through it again. I'd probably pay somebody, but the only problem is when you pay somebody, you don't know if they're gonna put the time and effort like, like you know, because it's your own car. But man, take it to a reputable shop, you guys that have done it before and have the experience, get them to put it in, man. I don't know if it's worth it, you guys. So that's my note, that's my thought on it. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it.